hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so as you can tell by the title of the video we are going to olive garden, olive garden. We're going to Olive Garden. I am so excited because I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten Olive Garden in so long. I have braces now. So I get my braces and put it back in because of the spaces. This time is going to be permanent. So I'm excited. I haven't eaten Olive Garden in so long. Since 2020. At some point in my life, I was going through a really bad time and I was really obsessed with You was obsessed. I was obsessed with Olive Garden. With Olive Garden. Yeah. Or Olive Garden yeah so i am excited we are gonna do a food review for you guys because we're gonna try to order as much stuff on the menu as possible so we can do basically a review so stay tuned <laughs> Oh guys, look horses! Horses! Look at the horse! We are in front of Olive Garden um, and Dallas Stream, uh, right next to Green Acres Mall. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna try some dishes. I haven't had a gun since 2020, but um, I don't know. We, we really wanted to have some Olive Garden today, so we're gonna film inside. So we're about to go in and just get into pasta coma. Let's go! There's a party going in the back and all the servers are attending to them so we're waiting to get a table right now. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just ordered everything. Uh, we ordered a couple appetizers. We're gonna get soup and salad. Then once they bring us the appetizer and the breadsticks and the salad, then they're gonna bring us the lunch special, which is a heavier food. But we're gonna do a review for the appetizer. Alright guys, the first we have Italian rum punch. It has the perfect blend of Bacardi silver rum, amaretto, and strawberry passing fruit. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Mm. Very good. It's not too much alcohol, it's not too sweet. I can taste the strawberry. I can taste the peach, I believe, it has. Really Alright guys, the next drink we have is the Spiked Strawberry Lemonade. It has strawberry passion fruit lemonade with Amsterdam vodka, fresh mint, and strawberry. Like it. What do you think? I think it's really good. It's really good. The strawberry is strong. You can really taste the lemonade. Alright guys, so for our soups, the first one we have is pasta e fagioli. It has white and red beans, ground beef, fresh tomatoes, and tobetti mm. It's really nice. Mm. It's really good. It's kind of like chili with pasta, basically. I think what we're gonna have to have meat. Mm. It's really good. All right, guys. Our second soup is zuppa toscana. It's it has spicy Italian sausage, fresh kale, and russet potatoes in a creamy broth. It's also made with gluten-free ingredients. This one is really good. It's kind of like 
ground beef for mm -hmm. pork. Um, but you can actually taste the oil in that one, which makes it not appetizing. But the potatoes are well cooked. Um, it has salt and it has pepper. Um, this is really good, but I feel like this one is missing The next one is the chicken and yoki. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes like chicken and broccoli. Cheddar broccoli. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very, 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 very good. Next, we have the salad, which is unlimited, by the way. And each time you order an entree, you get either an option for a soup or salad. So for the first appetizer, we have fried mozzarella. Those mozzarella are so delicious and very, very good. Mm, it's very cheesy. For our second appetizer, we had lasagna frita, which was very, very delicious. I actually lost the footage of me tasting it, but they were very good. All right, guys, for our first entree, we got chicken alfredo. Uh, the portions were so small because there was lunch, and you have an option to put chicken on it, which we did, uh, but it doesn't. You know, try the chicken first. <laughs> So the next thing we have on the menu is lasagna. Um, lasagna at Olive Garden always had a specific taste, which is what made it so delicious. We added uh, cheese, Parmesan cheese, over it, and she's gonna give it a try. about it. Mm -hmm. I like the inside. It's like when you put when you stick one bite, you put it in the mouth. The flavor is just burst. Mm -hmm. One thing I love about the other part of lasagna is when you look inside you see all of that ricotta cheese. That's what you want in a lasagna. You know, you want it bursting with ricotta, you want it all the right, you want the right amount of meat and the right amount of cheese and all of that um, put together. It's just the best of flavor. Just like, it's just like, yeah. I really actually, I love lasagna um, from other garden because it doesn't remind me of any other lasagna. Right. 
it's like lessons that we all know that we should not have perfectly right amount of water. Right. We want the right amount of cheese, the right amount of sauce to be flavorful, that we mix with everything and burst in your mouth. Right. All together, it's really, really good. We have the five cheese ziti al forno. This is the same sauce that we tried on earlier with the breadsticks, but they put it over the pasta. This one is very, very delicious. We're just gonna give it a try. This, with this dish, it's like every bite, every bite is filled with that cheese and that sauce. And it's just the right amount of it. It's anything other, it just fits, you know. The, the same side cheese that we had with the um, breadsticks. Yeah, breadsticks. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, all, it's also my favorite dipping sauce. It's, <laughs> but it's just with the pasta, it just, it works. You know, it works. And even though they poured the sauce over the pasta, you can still taste the sauce inside. Mm -hmm. So it, it finds a way inside of the pasta shell. It's very, very flavorful. Next, we have the shrimp scampi. It has uh, shrimp, tomatoes, oh, asparagus. 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 Mm -hmm. um, so, give it a try. The shrimp scampi. I'm so excited to try this one. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Shrimp scampi is one of those dishes that, if not done right, it's either something that's too overpowering it mm -hmm. or something that's too little. Right. It's not like that. That, um, that taste, but with this, it's just this the burst of the garlic flavor when it hits your tongue, the softness of the noodles, the shrimp is cooked to perfection, the texture of the asparagus is um, you know that crunchiness and that softness from the tomatoes, everything just works so well. And it's just like this, you know, this burst of flavor. I might eat a shrimp scampi and I get to be um, full of garlic. And it has that, you know, it has shrimp. It's really, really, really good. I love the asparagus, everything. Even the crunchiness you get from it is just so good. Delicious. Mm. Next, we have spaghetti and meatballs. The spaghetti and meatballs. Um, I personally, I've never tried it at Olive Garden, but I was really looking forward to try it because I've been obsessed with spaghetti meatballs lately, and this one, it just really caught my eye because I have this love for meatballs. I'm gonna add some cheese. Okay. Anything. The meatballs are so tender, a juicy tender meatballs. The texture of the pasta is perfect. It's not undercooked. It's overcooked. It's just so perfect. And it's just something about the olive garden sauce. It's just really, really, really flavorful. It brings it's like you. It feels like you're actually in Italy eating pasta. Yeah, it is. Everything is just flavorful. It bursts in your mouth. Every single dish has their own. You know, distinct taste to it. That's what makes it so good and so special. This is the ravioli with meat sauce, and it actually has cheese inside. I actually never tried ravioli, and uh, I've gone before. And me personally, ravioli has not been something that I enjoy to eat. So we're gonna give it a try and see. What is about? It's 
It's basically eating the lasagna because the actual ravioli itself has that cheese inside and then the meat sauce and the cheese it's really good i love the texture of the of olive garden's pasta mm -hmm. um it's not it's not overpowering and every other flavor is just hit at the perfect spot mm -hmm. so i actually really really like this we have the eggplant parmesan with spaghetti and sauce on the side this one is kind of like the parmigiana but not chicken with the eggplant so let's try let's give it a try i'm so excited to try these eggplants because i love everything like all things eggplant mm -hmm. it's just something that i honestly enjoy eating i love the texture of it Cheesiness, the softness, the texture of the eggplant, oh my god, it's just so good, it's all so good. The pasta is okay, um, it's just like regular pasta and sauce, so it's nothing like I haven't tried before, but... So the eggplant is the star of the show, mm -hmm. of the dish. Yeah, it's really good, because you can actually see, like, you can see how crunchy it is. Close well, the similarity as the eggplant. This one is the chicken parmesan with spaghetti. Um, me personally, I had a bad experience with chicken parmesan with uh, Junior's restaurant. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hated chicken parmesan in this sense, but this one will be if it's gonna bring back old memories or. It's gonna be a little bit different. Mm. 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 So, this is really, really good. But well, one thing. Mm. One thing that I didn't expect so much acidity. It's very, very acidic. A little on the salty side. But um, other than that, it has a really good crunch to it. And it just tastes like a, it just tastes like a fried chicken. Like, if you were to be holding a drumstick, a fried drumstick, this is exactly what it tastes like. But, um, it's really good, it has a nice crunch to it. The cheese is really good, like I said, with the, with the spaghetti. It's the same, just regular spaghetti with sauce. And it's one of the other ones that I tried, but um, this is really good. The only downside, I would say, to this is that it's heavy on the salt. Now, uh, it's like, when, she, when I put it in my mouth, it just hit me right in my face. Like, boom, so we don't want to salt side, but other than that, I love the crunch. And the chicken is actually cooked to perfection. Okay. Very tender and juicy. How would you rate the food? Let's start with the Alfredo. How would you rate it? So the Alfredo is actually my favorite. Um, I there's just something about olive garden fish and Alfredo. Um, I would give it uh, eight point five out of ten. Okay. Um, and it's actually like a, a really high rating. The the thing is, I don't rate food as a nine out of ten out of ten um, unless it you know stands out. It, it's the outfit is really good, but it's just like you know, it just tastes like a normal outfit. It's nothing separate that stands it out from a lot of different ones. It's just a kind of tastes like from different ones. Um, the second one, I would say, it is the lasagna. Um, the lasagna is very, very good. I like the ricotta. I would give the lasagna a eight out of ten. Um, and I. 
and I know really like the you know, salt but the texture the um, taste everything tasted really great the third one would be the five cheese okay. um, it's no? not too overpowering it's just if you want something that's kind of light that's simple I think the five cheese baby is what you go for and then I did like the um, avioli the ravioli I would give it like a 7.5 out of 10 it's because it kind of tastes like regular lasagna. There's nothing that really stood out too much okay. um, in it. And um, and then the, sh the shrimp skin. Because I love everything is shrimp. Um, I just love like how everything tastes together. It was just like the perfect texture. I mean, um, the taste is so empowering. I love the garlic. The tenderness of the shrimp. And then I guess like for all three. Like all of the spaghetti, the, the, the meatballs, the parmesan and eggplant. There's no, there's no difference with the spaghetti and the sauces, so, um, you know, it was normal, but so I to rate like the meatball, the parmesan, and the eggplant, I would say the best one is the chicken parmesan, um, but the only problem is that it was kind of like salty, I did like the crunchiness of it, the, um, the sauce and the cheese works, it works really well with the chicken and the pasta, um, and then I really like the eggplant, like the softness of the eggplantness of it, the cheese and the tomato works well with it, it's actually a really nice dish um, to eat, and then the meatballs, it was tender, juicy, it was actually really good, but it wasn't the best, so. Out of all of them, I would say parmesan, chip, parmesan, eggplant, and then we go with like overall ranking, I would give them a 7.5 out of 10. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like and enjoy. So altogether, the food was not bad. It was not uh, bad, but we enjoyed it all together. So thank you guys for liking this video. Please don't forget to like it to this channel so we can post more content like this more reviews for the restaurant and see you guys next week